And so hello YouTube, this is Allspeech 100 Productions with another video for you today. And excuse me for talking very, very low key, as my fellow brethren like to say. But yeah, today we're going to end this let's play. I've skipped a few turns, about two, three turns or something. Um, because I didn't want to like to show you and make another pointless part where we were just marching and everything towards our goal and everything and a lot of things happened in those three turns so as you can see um, Navarre has managed to gather up a lot of armies um, here, here, here and they used to have like five full stack armies here when we managed to defeat them yes, with uh, this joint, strike, with this junction of two armies here, and now we're um, besieging these last two provinces for us to capture, which is the Dell and Zaragoza. And Ar the Aragonese declared war on us, and uh, it was supposed to be another army of them here, but we managed to reinforce the city in time and we defeated its army before it could make a joint siege with this dude right here. Um, on the, and uh, very surprisingly, when I took out this lord to try and reinforce them, I couldn't because only these men were left on this city. And out of nothing came a Granatine army! Yes, a Granatine army! We thought we had defeated those bastards, but no! And the worst part is that they're still around here. They're still fucking around here somewhere. And that is pissing me off quite a lot. Because I thought I had defeated them, but I didn't. And that is bullshit. And anyway, um... This campaign is one. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going. I, I I tried to give it a chance. I posted. Uh, I didn't post, but like I tried to make videos about my war against Aragon and everything. And it was just starting to get a bit mundane and everything. Um. I really wanted to reach the gunpowder age and everything. Um. The con the. Um, the colonial events and everything of like colonizing Madeira and exploring Azores, the Canary Islands and all that, but um, we're not gonna do it, okay? We're just not gonna do it because we defeated our main enemy, we achieved our goal, we took out Castile and uh, and the Almohad, which is was the Portuguese historical enemies and all that and uh, yeah we defeated those two we have a nice little area and all that um, we have we have Aragon and Navarre outnumbered so we ba we have the biggest production we have the biggest armies we have everything just like we won, okay? We just won. There is no chance for Aragon, even with this army. Like, we have a full stack here. Some men are depleted, but who gives a fuck? Look at them, look at them. This army is nothing that we faced before. We faced a lot worse. Remember the Marinids? Remember them? Yeah, like a lot of armies stacked on Vaj. Yes, my friends, and what the hell is going on here? Uh, oh yeah, there was an earthquake. Fuck, I forgot about it. But yeah, man, we won. There's nothing anybody can do about it. But yeah, well, I'm not going to like to leave this part like this. You know, we're going to win by taking out Zaragoza. That's just how things go. There you go. The sack settlement. And victory! Congratulations, mighty king. You have led your matchless heroes through countless triumphs and won for Portugal undying fame and a magnificent empire. 
from whose throne all history does unfold. There you go, mates. Victory. We won. We won. But I don't want to end this part without giving you guys one last battle. And this is the last siege. It's not going to be a big siege, but it's going to be something. And it's going to be our last siege. And before we, we do it, let us just remind ourselves of the paths that we made to get to where we, where we are right now. As you remember, we started with only four cities. These ones. Coimbra capital, Lamego, Guimarães, and Porto. Not powerful cities, not upgraded cities or anything, no. And we were surrounded by Castile and the Moors, if you remember them, our first Islamic enemy. What happened is that we made this temporary alliance with Castile and we used that to, gain, to buy us some time to forge our own country and we went south and first we conquered Santeray and then if you remember the crusaders from England and France arrived at the dock of Porto and then they landed in Lisbon to pay us a helping hand and so with the crusaders help we managed to conquer Lisbon but it didn't went there, stop there, no we went southwards and we conquered Évora and Myrtle and Silves and then after we took Badajoz and then we grew it to stalemate and after successful skirmishes against the moors we took Kaddish and then the Almohads came and they took over the moors and then all that all that was left of Islamic possessions in the Iberian Peninsula Sevilla, Cordoba and Granada and that were, was going to be our next target. But there was a problem. We had blockaded this strait, the Strait of Gibraltar, and there was a stacking horde of the Almohads stacking over here. So what we did, we took these f these two cities while the Castilians took, uh, took Granada. What happened next is that in order to crush this, to crush this horde, we had to use the same tactic, tactic as King Edward the Conqueror used in the Battle of Hastings where instead of just charging at a shield wall he started picking it apart so we took the navy southwards and we took Marrakesh and Fesh diverting the enemy's horde to this place and leaving some of their full stacks army here and then we sent reinforcement after, after reinforcement and we managed to defeat them. After that, the Marinids came and we, they took a beating. They didn't even have a stronghold. They didn't have a place to call home. We assassinated their leader and that was the end of it. Then we started to go through here until Urgel, which was a very difficult city to conquer indeed. Once this was taken, we could concentrate our forces on Castile, which we were already made have with a good start. We had taken Tui, Copustela, Oviedo, Leon, Zamora, Salamanca, Curia, and then Granada, Calatrava, and we made our way for Toledo and Sori, in Valladolid, and then Burgos, where we made a stand to take Cuenca. Soria and Valencia. These were our main targets. We made an alliance with Aragon, which we thought that was going to be an everlasting alliance, but it's not. They, they tried to betray us and joined the Navarrese and the remnants of the Grenadines, which are around here somewhere. 
and so our forces now with taking Soria, Cuenca and Valencia the Castilians were defeated and now we can concentrate on expanding to the rem to the remnant regions of the Iberian Peninsula Navarre and Aragon are trying to stall our advances and they made quite the armies but we have armies basically everywhere and everywhere on the frontier we have huge navies we control the sea and our pockets are full of mula and so my friends this was the path that we made to get to where we are now and so Join me in this last siege, where we take down Navarre. We are going to listen to the last speech of our Portuguese lord right here. It is not my way to send men into needless peril during battle. If I ask something of you, it is necessary, and I will not expect more of you than I would ask of myself. I have found that just orders are readily obeyed, and victory is the result. Our army faces a hard fight. Our horsemen must stand idly by while others breach the wars and gain great honor in so doing. And at the last, be of good heart! A battle's a little thing set against the works of God. If we fear, we die a thousand times. And I would die but once in the company of good men. So if you would be brave, follow me! And so we're ready, guys, for the last siege of our campaign. Here we are, we have the same tactic as always, though this time we don't have a secondary siege tower, we only have one. So yeah. Um It's gonna be It's gonna be a nice battle, I reckon. It's gonna be short, but consistent nonetheless. Let's do this, people. Oh shit, what? Lol. Alrighty then. That was fast. That was a f that was really fast. <laughs> um, let's come on. What the hell? Right, that's it. Our siege towers have been destroyed. Now we must use other ways to break our enemy's defenses. Yeah, no shit, dude. It's not, it's not as if that's what I'm doing. There you go, the Navarrees fleeing from us. Flee, motherfuckers, flee! Let's deviate here and concentrate the fire on this site right here. Come on, place the place the place the ladders. Come on, we have to be quick. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, people. Too sweet. Come on. There they go, the chivalric knights waiting for their death. The are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Right, and so we got an army ready to cross. That's good. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. Right. So they're going to reinforce the last bits I guess. I have no idea what they're what they're gonna do. Probably retreat to 
uh, to the square and all that. Oh, and we're losing these men over here. That is quite bad. Just drop the ram and place yourself there. There you go, people. The battering ram is done there you work. go. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Right, so they're going to charge upon us with what they have left. Alright, so here we are. Fighting to the last man. You have to take control of that gate to, uh, to cross with our general. Once the two generals are crossed, then uh, victory is it's guaranteed. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We have these dudes over here and you can start running. Why is this guy here? Is he supervising something? Just go! Right, these guys are fighting hard. They had 15 and now they're t at 10. Alright, so we're engage engaging these archers, or crossbow militia, that's, in, that's right. Now they're moving up with their spearmen. And we have to gain access to that gate, no matter what, what the cost. Maybe send one of these dudes over here. It's gonna be quite costly, but I think they will kill. It will kill off some of these dudes right here. They're achieving victory. That's uh, that's disconcerting. Well, at least some of their men are dying. Just go, just go, ignore those bros, ignore those bros right there. Just go, 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 go. Alright, there's one dude left. That is quite honorable. And he's still giving up quite the fight. Oh, they're routing. Ah, shit. Alright, they're achieving victory over here, and I'm not liking that one bit. Alright dudes, just go, just go. Oh, there's their captain! Alright, kill him. Just kill him. Give him no chance in hell. Give grace to God! Alright. captured the enemy's walls! Alright, we're gonna kill their captain. That is going to be quite amazing. Let's move up with the spearmen. If we have the feet around here, that's quite bad. We are yes! Dead. He's killed. He's dead. dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. There's his man right here. Right, they still have these swordsmen light infantry and all that. They're getting pounded. Um, let's move up with these bastards along the way. They're gaining a bit of ground. Um, that's disconcerting. I'm sure we can still rally. They're gaining this big advantage against us. Favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. You sure, dude? They're coming up with a big fight. My lord, only half our force remain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All 
All right, wait, 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 wait. Before you do such nonsense. All right, concentrate your efforts on taking out these these guys over here. All right, they're broken. Awesome. These guys, however, are going to die. Alright, these guys are climbing up the ladders to reinforce those. Oh shit, we lost a lot of crossbowmen. Um, where is their general, by the way? Oh yeah, we already killed him, but I thought they had like a real general as well. I have no idea. I have to see. I have to check. Skill that bastards. Just go 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 go. They're all broken. No help these guys. Yes. Help them. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. They're bringing up quite the fight. Didn't expect this. Didn't foresee this. Right, we need their general inside the castle. That will only work when we obtain the, the gate. Be nice to have, you know, dudes. Just like a Christmas present, you know, just nice, nice little gate access, you know. That would be awesome. And I think we have it right now. So yeah, I think we could just breeze in and all that. It'd be awesome. These guys are just holding out, just trying their best. We're managing to kill some of them. Oh god. You can make it, dudes. You just have to believe. Just believe in yourselves. Everything will go right. Right, dudes. Just go and kill them. Kill them good. Kill them well. Go, 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 go! Your little circle and all that, whatever. Oh, victory! Jesus Christ, for real? Are they that demoralized? Let's go, people! There you go. Never is javelin men fighting to the death, it seems. And you can concentrate your efforts on these brothers yeah, over here. Alright, here we go. Final effort, right there. Here we go. Kill them. Kill them well. Jesus Christ. We're slaughtering them. Er, 18. Well, they managed to survive. That's very good of them. the saints our men have taken control of the city very nice dude very nice and yeah there's just no chance 
There's just no chance, people. You could just like you could just put down your arms. I mean, your nation is damned. I am sorry. This is not what I intended. I intended for conquering Castile and then just taking your land, raping your women and children. I'm just kidding on that part, but yeah, that that would be nice, you know, just like just giving me your land freely, nobody will get harmed. Like, don't you wish of a world where peace exists, but under my submission? That would be awesome. Adrian. Let's go here, get her at the square. And victory. Run down those worthless peasants. And we're going to end this battle. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. And I'll see you in the campaign map. Thank you for delivering us. And here we are, people. You delivered us this victory. I promised you victory. And what did I give you? I gave you what I promised. And here it is, people. Victory. I could have gone and continued this campaign and all that, but I just don't feel in the mood. Without Castile, things aren't the same. Things aren't the same. But I'll give you a taste of... of the map without the fog of war. As you can see here, this is the small remaining army of with Emir Ayub. Poor dude. Poor little dude. As you can see here, they trained quite some armies and everything, and uh, and some navies, but I just would bounce back and give them no chance and all that. I have all of my frontier reinforced. I just conquered the two uh, two of their major of never of Navarre's major cities damaging their I income in every way imaginable and yeah this is it this is it oh and people were asking me in the comments what was in here and yeah look at this this is a rebel generic settlement with nothing there no faction no nothing and you cannot cross this desert as people were asking and here is another which is Toulouse representing France which oddly enough has a Come and fight me, you coward. It's a Portuguese flag, but anyway, this has been this has been 11:43. Um, very very good mod, um, especially if you're Portuguese or or Spanish or m m from Morocco, something wherever. Um, you know, it's very fun to play. Um, it's not that demanding nor anything. Doesn't add a lot of things. It's very simplistic, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, dudes. Um, hope you enjoyed this let's play. It's actually the first let's play that I ever that I completed. It's the first let's play I did. And um, yeah, man, um, it's good. Good. As you can see right here, um, they have. The Aragonese are mustering armies and everything and all that, but it's nothing I haven't faced before and all that. We faced greater dangers and all that, um, not really a problem in any way. Their cities are completely almost unprotected and we just like struck at the center so we can just like march through and all that and just take them by a breeze and all, no problem. We already faced an even dangerous army than this one right here. Um, we held out and we conquered. And that... It's just amazing. Also, I would like to give thanks to my YouTube, uh, YouTube uh, co-workers and partners and everything. Um, I'll post their, all of their links in the description if you want to check them out. They're, they speak in Portuguese, um, but uh, if, you, if you are Portuguese or something, you, you, can, you can check their videos out. It, it, they're very cool. Um, and 
and they focus on total war games and everything and uh, yeah they're very cool they're very cool people um, they're mostly Brazilian only one of them is Portuguese but yeah people hope you enjoyed this part um, this campaign um, please do comment rate subscribe uh, whatever you want uh, please post in the comments where I, what you want me to play next and what videos I should be making. Two people, I am off.